on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Oh, come on, Starfire, let go. Why should I? We're betrothed now. I never agreed. Well, where I'm from is a woman's choice. Really? Yes, do not question my ways. How about this? You let me go and I'll give you some mustard. No thanks. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't want any. All I need is you. Her just holding on to him tight. It's... Okay, this is starting to scare me a little bit. Hmm. No, whatever, but you gotta let go of me now because I'm at school. I'll go with you. Seriously? Yeah. You're not even enrolled. I'll pull some strings. No need to worry about that. Are you serious? Yes. Listen. I... You're not gonna try to disappoint me, are you? What? What are you talking about? I mean... I don't want y you to uh, suffer any accidents. Are you threatening me? Hmm. Well, where I'm from, if we may have to fight to see who gets what they want. Oh, so you're challenging me? Yes. Yes, I am. Hmm. You know what? I like that. Really? Yeah. You, you, you want to take me on? Fine. But first, I got school. So release me, woman. Uh, no. Oh wing him tighter as he goes through the doors and it's yeah it's not a good look Oraka you can see the murderous intent in her eyes she's looking like okay now she's pissed at something him looking at like, yeah she, she must not like these displays of affection so what she can get bent for all I care she says this out loud so everyone hears it and looks at her. What? You, you just can't say that. I will say what I want. Is that right, Katsuki? <sighs> everyone just looking at Baku goes. Uh, right, Katsuki? <laughs> yes. Whatever. Just. Aww. What's wrong, Pomeranian? Are you scared? Everyone just surprised at the utter silence that Goski is just like, how did you find a way to shut him up? <laughs> I'm stronger than you guys. I'm not an extra. I'm the main heroine. Uh, oh no, she didn't. <sighs> okay, this bitch got cocky now, huh? Of course she got a cocky to shut up. <sighs> no, he's, he's a cool. I've been thinking about you a lot since we last spoke. What? You know, the, the betrothal thing. 
you can just hear glass shattering everywhere as everyone's you can't explain that well where I'm from once you uh, have uh, done battle with someone for so long you'll slowly but surely start to develop feelings for each other and since he has confided in me that no other girl has really confessed to him or Raka kicking herself and damning her choices to an extent it's like, oh, so wait what would happen if a girl confessed to him now I would do battle with her and which if I win she has to do what I say uh, what if you lose <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious? Yeah, what if you lose? Awesome me losing. Nah, no, no. Not against this place full of losers. There's no way I'm losing. <laughs> Okay, well, if you have multiple challengers who want to gang up on you. Yeah. Okay. Well, if the chance that I do lose, they reserve the right to marry my little Izzy. And I will be out of their lives for as long as they shall live. What? I mean, until I come back to try again. Uh, is that true? Shut up. Uh, Siku. Seriously, what the hell's going on here? Starfire was never this mean. Why is she acting so possessive all of a sudden? Is this really how things are done on her planet? Like, okay, how about this then? What if we all go up against you and win? Then what? I will relinquish my rights to marry Izuku. Okay. And you have to do whatever we say. Each of us. What? Not. <clears throat> you really think I'm gonna lose? You're really that confident in your abilities? Did you know my little Izzy actually does, uh, what? Keep notes about you? Uh, what? Yeah. Especially when it comes to your progress, what moves you've made, alterations you made to your costumes, and. Huh. You spent a lot of detail when it came to yours, Oraka. He did. Her looking at Izuku was like, really? Well, I I admired your determination, your progress, and well, he did that main for everyone. He's she's just the one I want to go, go uh, so many changes such as his. <sighs> it's kind of sad. Seems like he actually did care about you a lot. But now he has me. Oh, I'm gonna float this bitch. Excuse me. Float me. <laughs> Excuse me. How are you gonna do that? Her just. There. As Starfire starts floating in the sky. Like, huh. This would be quite the predicament. <laughs> If I couldn't already fly, and she starts doing figure eights and all that shit, just loop de loops, showing off like, yeah, I can fly, so your quirk means nothing to me. Oraka, she falls her knees in defeat, as well as pistivity. But my, my quirk, it. Oh yeah, he thought your quirk was amazing. Huh. He probably doesn't think so much of it now, considering he can fold on his own. Uh, 
Is that true? Well, hey, you're already knew I could float. I was like, no, you don't think much about me anymore? Of course I think very highly of you. Star just being weird for some reason. After my mom just, uh, made the... Uh, Miss Inko? Wait, uh, no! What? As we have a flashback to, to Inko talking with Oraka. So you decide to put your feelings on hold until you become pro heroes. Yeah. Honey, I know that's that's a very understandable course of actions, but you do realize that means if a girl does, you know, hook up with him or confess to him before that, and he turns out liking her a lot. You do know that means you could lose him potentially forever, but what are the odds of that? Pretty good considering how strong his quirk is. Not to mention he's, he's getting more powerful quirks? Did, did this not cross your mind at all? Like, that May girl. Or, what's that other girl's name? That blonde one. You mean Toga? No, not her. But yeah, she is also a potential rival for you. I'm talking about, uh, Miss Melissa Shield? What? You did say about how you felt uncomfortable the way they seemed a little bit too close. I never considered that he'd be so popular. And that's the thing. Sometimes, yeah, it's a good idea to keep your feelings uh, buried, but sooner or later, you're going to... You might have to let them loose. Or else you could end up losing someone you really possibly couldn't live without. I, um, I just think about it. I'm going to try my best to be in your corner. Because as far as I can tell, I don't know jack about the other girls. And considering the approach you've had so far, I, I'm hoping for you. You seem like a nice girl. Thank you. N no problem. Flash forward. So. <laughs> what did Miss Inko say? Well, she uh, pretty much told Star what a date is, let her know about this and that. that. Miss Inko, you didn't betray me, but you, you, you damn near almost did. I, oh, I was, I was about to get so worried for nothing. What, what are you talking about? Nothing. <clears throat> Either way, you, so, you're saying stars being weird. I'm being my regular self, trying to per defend my patrol from any vixens wanting to take him away. Them completely forgetting that Star was even there. Um, Vix, excuse me. You heard me. I'm, I'm not letting you take away my Izzy. There is again, you. Just, what? He called me Izzy for some reason. That's your cute nickname, isn't it? No. No, it's not. <sniffs> what? Well, it is now. Izuku is mine saying, okay, that's... That's weird. She usually calls me... Huh. Izu. But... Even then, I will deny, but... Calling, her calling me Izzy is kind of weird. Huh. 
Hey, I got a question, uh, Star. Like, what? What is it? Do you dye your hair? No. I think my sister does, but that's only because she tries to be different or whatever. Hmm. Yeah. Figures. Yeah, I guess. Would she ever cut her hair? No, that that hair is too important to her. Yeah, she is my older sister. Yeah, she's also stronger than you, right? Yes. And did you say she peed the bed? <laughs> I don't remember such a thing. Yeah, I remember. I remember you said she got so scared that she came into your room and begged to stay in the same room with you until she fell asleep. <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry, I can't recall. But you could tell me what else I did uh, later when we go home together. Gasp! Wait, home together? Oh yes, I'm staying with him and his mother. If uh, we don't plan on sleeping in a spaceship together, where we'll have a lot more privacy. Oh yes, I mean. Oh, the captain's bed is highly comfortable, nice and soft, but still be very warm. Is everyone is slack jawed? Is like what? Well, before you trust me, I was gonna say that the bed was very firm yet soft, kind of like my Izuku leaping and shutting this starfire's mouth. Shut up! Don't you say another word! <laughs> Him looking down and seeing the puddle of blood that Moneta is currently drowning in. Like, Isuku, I thought. Do you really want to do this here? Like, Wait! What? Everyone looking at him is like, what is she talking about? Like, Nothing! Him floating away is like. Star flying towards him and hugging him tightly. Getting a little too enthusiastic on where she's grabbing. Oraka? There are no words the amount of hatred and anger that she is uh, releasing into the room. Mina and the other girls are trying their best to calm her down. But a paw is bad enough that she's holding on to Izuku. But when she gets a little too grabby, that is when it is crossing the damn line. Especially considering Izuku, though he is more hardened, he is still a Simarola heart and uh, sensitive in certain areas. The noises he's making is not one that uh, Araka would he want to hear because of another girl causing it. So, yeah. Izuku finally being able to break free. It's like, <laughs> why do I feel so dirty? Like, well, if you think this is dirty, just wait till we get home. Araka, she floats straight to Starfire and socks her in the face. It doing nothing, but she's made her point very clear. <laughs> I am going to kill you. <laughs> Puny human. Her just grabbing Oraka by her throat and strangling her. Oraka not being able to break free. She's too strong. Izuku having to interfere. It's like that's enough. Starfire, I'm going home. Good, I'll meet you the no. This is 
this is way too. Uh, you sleep in the ship. I'm going home. Uh, this is this is too much. Izuku flying off. Star pissed, but looks at Rocco by making this "I'm gonna kill you" gesture. Therefore, she flies off. Araka, she is terrified. The girls and guys are as well as we're gonna need some help dealing with that bitch. And what was that about whole ship? Bago still staying silent. 